Have you ever wondered how to build a dividend portfolio for passive income? It's a question that's crossed many minds. And today, we're going to delve into it. The world of investing can be a vast and complex universe, but the beauty of it is, once you grasp the basics, it all starts to make sense. A dividend portfolio is one of those concepts that's as straightforward as it is powerful. It's a collection of investments, but not just any investments. These are dividend-paying stocks, the kind that regularly reward you with a slice of their profits. And what's even better, this profit, this income, it's passive. That means it comes to you without you having to trade your time for it. The importance of investing and having a dividend portfolio can't be overstated. It's a ticket to financial security, a cushion for your future, a means to achieve your financial goals. Understanding the basics is the first step towards financial freedom. So, what exactly is a dividend? Well, in the simplest terms, a dividend is a payment made by a corporation to its shareholders, usually in the form of cash or additional stock. Picture it as your share of the company's profits being returned to you. Companies distribute dividends out of their earnings. If you own shares in a company that declares a dividend, you'll receive a portion of the profits based on how many shares you own. Now, you might hear terms like dividend yield and dividend payout. Here's the difference. Dividend yield is a financial ratio that shows how much a company pays out in dividends each year relative to its stock price. On the other hand, dividend payout is the amount of dividends paid to stockholders relative to the net income of the company. And why are dividends important? Dividends can be a great way to generate recurring income. Now, how do you choose the right stocks for your dividend portfolio? It's like selecting the ingredients for a perfect meal. You want quality, consistency, and a good blend of flavors. In the world of investing, this translates to researching companies, assessing their financial health, and their ability to consistently pay dividends. Let's start with the importance of research. It's not enough to pick a company just because it's well known or because it's been around for a while. You have to dig deeper. Look at the company's business model, its industry position, and its future prospects. Is it a leader in its field? Does it have a sustainable competitive advantage? These factors can significantly impact a company's ability to pay dividends consistently. Now, let's talk numbers. When evaluating a potential dividend stock, there are three key factors to consider. Dividend yield, payout ratio, and dividend growth rate. Dividend yield is simply the annual dividend payment divided by the stock's price. It tells you how much bang you're getting for your buck. But be cautious. A high yield could be a sign of a struggling company. The payout ratio is the portion of earnings a company pays out as dividends. A low payout ratio may indicate a company has room to increase its dividends, but a very low ratio could mean the company isn't making enough profit to sustain dividend payments. The dividend growth rate is the annual percentage growth of a company's dividend. Consistent dividend growth is a good sign, but remember, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Choosing the right stocks is not an exact science. It's a blend of careful analysis, educated guessing, and a dash of luck. But by focusing on companies with a solid financial health, a consistent dividend history, and a promising future, you can increase your chances of success. And remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about building wealth over time. So don't be discouraged by short-term market fluctuations. Keep your eyes on the prize and stay the course. Choosing the right stocks is crucial in building a successful dividend portfolio. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more investing tips and tricks. Your support helps us create more content like this. We're here to help you navigate the world of investing, from understanding dividends to picking the right stocks and diversifying your portfolio. We also value your thoughts and experiences. So, feel free to leave a comment below, share your investing journey, or ask any questions you may have. We're all here to learn and grow together. Remember, investing is a journey and we're glad to be a part of yours. Stay tuned for more. Ever heard of the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? 
This old adage rings loud and true in the world of investing. It's what we call diversification. Think of diversification as spreading your investments across a variety of assets. It's like a buffet where you sample a bit of everything instead of just filling your plate with one dish. Why do we diversify? Two main reasons, risk management and potential return enhancement. By spreading your investments across different sectors, industries, and geographical locations, you limit the impact of any one asset's poor performance on your overall portfolio. It's a safety net, if you will. At the same time, diversification can enhance your potential returns. Different assets perform differently under varying market conditions. So while some of your investments might be having a tough time, others could be thriving. Remember, investing is not just about picking winners, but also about managing risk. And that's where diversification comes into play. Diversification helps to spread risk and maximize potential returns. Scene script. Let's move on to the exciting part, building your portfolio. Imagine you're constructing a house. You wouldn't just throw together a few bricks and cross your fingers, would you? No, you'd need a blueprint, the right materials, and a solid foundation. The same principles apply to building a portfolio. First up, buying stocks. This might seem daunting, but it's as easy as shopping online. Simply choose the company you want to invest in, decide how many shares you want, and click Buy. It's important to remember, though, that the price of shares can fluctuate, so it's worth keeping an eye on the market and timing your purchases wisely. Now, on to balancing your portfolio. This is where the blueprint comes in. Too many high-yield stocks might seem attractive for the short-term gains, but these often come with higher risks. On the other hand, growth stocks might not pay much in dividends, but they hold the potential for significant price appreciation over time. Like a well-balanced diet, your portfolio should have a mix of both. This way you can enjoy the immediate benefits of high-yield stocks while also investing for long-term growth. Let's not forget about the magic of reinvesting dividends. This is like planting a seed from a fruit you've eaten. It can grow into a whole new tree over time. By reinvesting your dividends, you're buying more shares without spending any extra money. And as those shares produce dividends, you'll have even more to reinvest. This is what we call compound interest, and it's a powerful tool for growing your wealth. Remember, your portfolio isn't a set-it-and-forget-it deal. It's a living, breathing entity that requires your attention and care. So, review it regularly, adjust as needed, and don't be afraid to switch things up if something isn't working. Building and managing your portfolio is an ongoing process. It's like tending a garden. It takes time, patience, and a bit of elbow grease, but the rewards can be bountiful. So roll up those sleeves and let's get building. Now that you've built your portfolio, what's next? Well, you don't just sit back and watch the money roll in. You need to monitor your portfolio. Regular monitoring is like a health check for your investments. It keeps you informed about how your stocks are performing and whether they're still aligned with your financial goals. So, how do you monitor your portfolio? You track its performance. There are plenty of online tools and apps that can help you keep a close eye on your investments. You can track the price of your stocks, the dividends they're paying, and how they're performing compared to the rest of the market. But remember, don't get too caught up in daily fluctuations. Investing in dividends is a long-term game. You're looking for consistent, steady returns over time, not quick wins. So while it's important to keep an eye on your investments, don't panic if you see some ups and downs. Now, what if your stocks aren't performing as expected? That's where adjustments come in. Maybe a company you've invested in is underperforming consistently, or perhaps its dividend yield has dropped. In such cases, you might want to consider selling that stock and replacing it with a better performer. And then there's rebalancing. Over time, some stocks might perform better than others, causing your portfolio to skew towards certain sectors or companies. Rebalancing helps you readjust your portfolio back to your desired allocation. It's like trimming the overgrown hedges in your investment garden. Rebalancing isn't something you need to do constantly. Consider doing it once or twice a year or when there's a significant change in your financial situation or goals. Before we wrap up, here's a quick tip. Use alerts and notifications to stay updated on significant changes in your portfolio or the market. That way, 
you can make informed decisions without having to constantly check on your investments. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Keep a steady pace, stay informed, and adjust as needed. Happy investing. That's it. Congratulations on taking the first step towards building your dividend portfolio. Let's take a moment to recap what we've covered today. We started by understanding what a dividend is, a share of a company's profits paid out to shareholders. Then, we moved on to choosing the right stocks, focusing on companies with a strong track record of profitability and consistent dividend payouts. We talked about the importance of diversification, spreading your investments across different sectors to mitigate risk. Building your portfolio was next, where we emphasized the need for a balanced mix of dividend-paying stocks to generate a steady stream of passive income. Lastly, we discussed monitoring your portfolio, adjusting and refining your investments as needed. Throughout it all, remember that patience and consistency are key. Investing is a long-term game and it's the small, consistent steps that lead to significant results. Remember, the journey to financial freedom is a process and every step you take counts. Happy investing.